what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of diy with key it's diy with key so today um i'm gonna be teaching y'all how to create this balloon wall this was actually my second time creating a balloon wall this time i used a different strategy than i did the first time but it literally came out like so good it turned out to be so good um, I'm gonna show y'all the colors that we're working with, the different sizes that I use, and pretty much how to just bring this whole thing together. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this balloon wall, then just keep watching. Okay, so we are working with custom colors in today's video. So I'm just showing you what I use to stuff the balloons. This is literally a metal straw. Um, I have my two balloon colors. I have the onyx black by qualitex and i'm stuffing it inside of mocha and then literally it's going to give me that nice deep brown color without the balloon being see-through Okay, so we got our balloons blown up. Now, I already started kind of working on the wall. So, this is all going to get filled in, but this is what I'm working on. These are the color shades that I'm using. And so, basically what I did is, I'll show y'all in the next clip, but what I just did is I put, I kind of like strained my garlic, so the full-on garland, and then I just kind of like, maneuvered the pole as the base because i'm going to have a base a pole as the base for each end of the wall um so i maneuvered this pole as a metal pole into the balloons and they just like went snug on so i'm going to do the same thing with this one here and then the next two garlands that i built with these balloons are going to be the middles and then i'll show y'all how i attach them so i'm going to be attaching them with um rubber bands and then um, the when I do my filler balloons, I'm going to use either 260s or rubber bands. So I'll show y'all that process, but this is where we are right now. So this is the before. And I'll show y'all the after in a minute. Pretty good. So, like I said, I'm doing 
columns and then I'll attach everything. So I just need one more column to put on this and then I can attach everything and bring it together. If I want to extend the wall and do two more columns, so one right there and then another one, it will most likely fill up the whole wall and I might do that. And I might even take it all the way to the ceiling um, just to get that dramatic effect. But if I'm gonna do that, I won't do it until after everything is done anyway. So I have to blow up a few more balloons to do the fourth column and potentially the fifth. And then I'll be back. All right, so the wall is completely like put together. So now it's time to like, you know, make it look nice. So I did do some of my filler balloons. So what I'm doing is putting a 260 around it and then I'm gonna wrap them around um, some of the places on the wall so I can kind of fill it in. And then I'm probably gonna finish the rest tomorrow cause I wanna move on to the setup of the table but y'all will see everything um complete so y'all see the complete look of it at the end of this video